Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to show you how the 1070 Ti stacks up against the brand new RTX 2060. This is a comparison between Asus's GTX 1070 Ti and the NVIDIA Founder Edition GeForce RTX 2060 card. And I'm going to be comparing size, specifications, and look and feel. As you can see here, the two cards stack side by side. It's not a like for like comparison because obviously the RTX has ray tracing capabilities and it's the 2060 version, so it's not as high end. It's also not TI, but it has a lot more compact. As you can see, the 1070 has a lot more girth, width, and length to it. And this one has been installed in my machine for around a year. It actually hasn't gathered that much dust, which is pretty good. <laughs> Uh, quite pleasing for the videos and just recently removed and swapped with the RTX 2060 and thought it would be worthwhile testing out benchmarking both of them to see what the performance differences are. I will also be in the near future comparing it with the RTX 2080 Ti which I've also got and I will be unboxing and installing and comparing with so watch out for a video on that soon. And if you want to see an unboxing of the RTX 2060 in a bit more close up detail on it please check out the links below in the description and my channel and you will see I've done two videos on it already. Actually the RTX 2060 is a decent card, it's really well designed and it looks great and I've read, as you probably have too, that the specifications of the 2060 means it stacks up pretty well in terms of how it performs versus the 1070 Ti. So here's the 1070 Ti installed in a full tower in my computer and this is the removal process and you'll probably be pretty familiar with removing the thumb screw taking the card out unplugging the wires not in that order necessarily but it is an easy installation process and a nice easy upgrade you'll note the length here and you'll be able to spot the difference also the power cables plug in on the side on the 1070 Ti on the RTX 2060 they actually plug in on the end which is quite interesting it does use require the same number of power cables though the monster 1070 Ti and it is a bit of a beast the old Ti the 2060 by comparison is quite compact and very neat this is obviously the founders edition the aftermarket versions will be slightly different It slots in nice and easily, and it looks brilliant as well, especially with the silver heat sinks on my motherboard. Now, performance-wise, I actually ran a few different 3D Mark benchmarks on it, which I'll link to in the description below. I also decided to try Kingdom Come Deliverance on very high settings to see how that stood, because it actually, if you put it on the highest settings, it says it's for future hardware only, and I found that ran at around 30 frames per second on the 1070 Ti and then roughly the same on the 2060 as well which was surprising so there's not much difference in it um, to test beyond that I also did a similar test with Shadow of the Tomb Raider which you'll see in a second where I ran the benchmark within that on the highest settings and again actually the results are very similar the 1070 Ti returns an average FPS of 50-ish and the 2060 does about the same. So basically performance wise you're getting similar results from both these cards. Now considering the 2060 is brand new but it also has ray tracing capabilities and it is probably more affordable than the 1070 Ti was when it released and what it still is now. It's probably a worthwhile option it's a compact upgrade and it has that ray tracing capabilities just don't expect a boost in performance necessarily the frame rates are similar as I said the other benchmarks and running deliverance also resulted in the same experience also played Cuisine Royale which is a strong favourite of mine at the moment and that happily got up to 200 frames per second in some cases this has been the Provoke Prawn. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. Please like, subscribe and come back for more in the future.